Hey guys, this is Richard from Clash with RLF, bringing you an episode. Um, I was going to show you two attacks on very similar bases. One was successful, the other was not. In this one, by Perrin attacking Lukester, I probably would not have spread the golems in the north and south, but I probably would have put them just where the archer queen is coming, and so you could destroy half the base, and then once most of the debris are cleared, I would drop the heroes to try to jump into the center. But this way, um, his golems on the north side are pretty defenseless. The archer queen totally destroys it. They're already into golemites. The wither tower was attacking it before it got killed by the, um, by the barbarian king. And they rage into the center and he's totally out of spells now. And we're waiting for the Archer Queen to attack the Town Hall. She is busy attacking. And now she latches onto the Town Hall. Um, she's already used her ability, unfortunately. Both Infernal Towers are attacking her. The Town Hall has about two hits left, but she's not going to have it in her to bring it down. And then the Golemites are being attacked by the King, so that's also not going to last long. The golem, now Golemites. I don't understand why they released the archers in a row like this because I would have at least tried to snipe something for 5 percentage point, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of things to snipe here. So that was sort of a disaster. And then in a very similar base here, uh, you can see. Narco is attacking Lucas, and it's pretty much the exact same base, except this time he uses a completely different troop. He brings four earthquake spells to make a hole in the north. And I love using earthquake spells, and I like to see how it's working. Sometimes I hate it because I miss a wall, and then it could be disastrous. So I usually use it more during my raids, but and I rely heavily on jump spells, but I think Earthquake spells are an awesome addition to Clash of Clans. And here comes dragons, but witches under rage should take care of that. And he sort of misplaced the rage there. He still has a rage and a haste spell. Um, he puts a haste over the town hall. And a rage, which I think that was probably a miss because he probably should have put the haste where the witches are and then a rage. Um, I think the rage spell is going to go down before. I mean, the haste stays a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter. The Barbarian King is, he, um, he used ability hitting the Town Hall. The ability for the Barbarian King at that time is probably a good thing because it creates more distractions for the multi-infernos um, because in the center here it's the witches are going to come down by the infernos and it's too late for them however he still has a bunch of witches on the right and the archer queen still hasn't used her ability but he's already at 56 percent so i think if he would have used his spell placement correctly he might have had a chance of doing better almost three starring not sure about that but prob possibly but it was a pretty good attack and i'm just gonna fast forward this night beam because it's just one arch two archers one on top one on the bottom and as you know arch you know, that archer got shot as soon as it did it and this archer is gonna go for the spell f and then it's has five seconds anyway so anyway, let me know what you think of this. I think it's an interesting comparison between two bases by two different attackers to see why one failed and why the other one worked. If you like videos like this, let me know. I'll try to show more. If you have anything you want to see, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and push the subscribe button if you haven't already and hope to see you soon. Thanks.